No kind sir, your volume is on. It is? Your volume is so on. Oh boy. Guess what, guys? It's the Lord's Day. Come out and play. It's Hey Pal, what's new? I couldn't think of a good one that rhymes with a body part. I was really thinking about it, but it wasn't happening. What rhymes with a body part? Well, you know, it's usually like, you know, put on your socks and grab your cocks. It's Hey Pal, what's new? Or. What was, what was the last one I did? Uh, grab your balls and put on some Lou Rolls. <laughs> <laughs> grab your tits and take some shits. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I think that was the one. Yeah, something like that. But hey, everybody, we're back. Uh, yeah, it seems like every time I say this, but we're like, oh, we're back after uh, you know a break. But um, we, what a week I end. wasn't busy, but my uh, my hetero life mate over here was very busy. Um, which is what we're going to start off with today, because I want to hear all about it. I want to hear all about what you did last weekend, which if you follow all of our social media, you know, our Instagrams and our Facebooks and our TikToks and all that shit, our boy here ran the New York City Marathon last weekend. Um, so, hey, pal. Hey, pal. What's new? <laughs> It, like, tell me all I got, about it. I got a shiny medal. You did? You got a medal. I got a medal from the New York Marathon. Cool. So, yeah, I mean, I, you know, walk me through it because <laughs> I think I mentioned when I was a kid, I lived in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, and I lived a block away from the Verrazano. So, it, at, every year, before you ran it, I would always want to... We, we would walk out of our apartment, walk down the block, go across the street, and watch the people run the marathon. It was right there. So it always brings me back to my childhood on a Sunday morning. I'm always like, oh, let's put on the marathon, you know? And this year you ran it. So a couple of Maya Pacquians well, were there. It's a 26-mile fucking party. Is it really? <clears throat> Once you get over, what is that fucking bridge that goes from Staten Island into Brooklyn? That's the Verrazano. Verrazano. Mm-hmm. Once you get over that... The fucking both sides of the street just lined with fucking people like mm. drinking, smoking weed, barbecuing. Yeah, that's the one thing I noticed the last time I was down in the city, is that all you all you smell is weed. There's tons oh of garbage God. and it all everything Kipsy smells too. like weed. Well, we'll get to that one too, the garbage thing. But mm. <clears throat> um, yeah, so as you run, it's just fucking people. There's bands all over the place. Bands just out on the street playing, mm. like all set up, drummer, bass, like the whole th- the whole kit and caboodle. Little mini stages set up all over the place, which is really fun. Well, I gotta figure that anybody that's on that route is gonna make it like a big party. Oh you yeah, know? yep. So. Even even one of the funeral homes had a fucking DJ. I was like, yo, save me a spot. I'll be right back. <laughs> Get in the coffin. <laughs> die, die. <laughs> Get in the coffin. The, <laughs> there, <laughs> there was... um. So when I went down the day before... Two days before mm-hmm. to get my shirt and to get my bib and everything like that. Not lobster bib and not yeah, baby bib. <laughs> I, I kind of figured. The... Uh, oh, fuck. Hello? Hello? <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck I was going to say. But I went down and it was, uh, I got my bib, did my thing, and there was shirts at the expo. It's like a smaller expo, I guess, this year. Mm -hmm. And I got this hat at the expo. I wanted to get a shirt. They give you one. Mm -hmm. But there's a shirt that says finisher. (laughs) And it's for the race. I'm like, oh, you can't buy the finisher shirt before the fucking race. I know. What if you don't finish? Exactly. And there's someone who I know who sent out a fucking blast email to a shit ton of people like, I'm going to be running. This will be my blah, blah, blah marathon. Mm. The X time I've run, they caught, they, they bowed out after three miles. Really? They so had like they-, a, they had an injury going into it. They had an injury and knew it. And I was like, never tell everybody. Cause then people are like, how'd it go? And now you have to explain like, I quit. Yeah. I mean, I was super impressed cause I watched, you know, I watched the footage all day and they show the path. Where it is, we posted it on our Instagram. It just looked like a big dick. It does. <laughs> just balls. <laughs> but I was just following the path, and I'm like, I'm tired just looking at this. Like Brooklyn, I, mean, is, I think Brooklyn is the longest section too, because you feel well, yeah. like you're in fucking Brooklyn for every like. Where yeah. am I, Brooklyn? Where am I, Brooklyn? Yeah, I mean, because you're starting down in Bay Ridge, which is like the bottom oh, of the, the way ball bottom sack of Brooklyn. It basically <laughs> is, yes. But yeah, you have to run basically all through Brooklyn. 
And what is that, the 59th Street Bridge you got to cross again? What's that other little bridge that goes across? I know there's the Willis Avenue Bridge into the Bronx. I know you took that, but I don't know what's the bridge out of Brooklyn into... Do you go out of Brooklyn into Manhattan again? No. Or there, there was one bridge that went from... I think it was from Queens to Manhattan. Right. It wasn't the what you're talking about Willis Bridge. It the, was... Uh, <laughs> which I always call it. What you talk about Willis Bridge. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I hate that I don't know New York that well. That's fine. That's Let's fine. see. I, I'm sure Barry's in the chat. He'll like pop it in there in a minute. Like, hey, that's the uh, the Governor Hugh Carey. Governor Hugh Carey up the old belt stairs and lava gangbang bridge. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see Barry did mention that we we didn't have audio. And then he said, there you go. So, yeah, no, that's pretty impressive. So you did fit. So I guess there are people that just kind of just bow out after a while. Or... Well, and normally they wouldn't, <clears throat> they wouldn't have as many like start times, mm-hmm. but they added a fourth, fifth wave, which started at noon. Okay. And it just boggles my mind that they're like, oh, you're the slowest people? Yeah, we'll put you last. <laughs> yeah, like, now I guess, I'm finishing in the dark. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I saw, you know, they always have the, I guess it's the women start first. The, it's the, the professionals. The professionals start first. There's always some guy from Uganda that fucking wins Kenya. it or Kenya. Or there something are people like all over the route with signs going, you better hurry up. The Kenyans are drinking all the beer. Yeah. <laughs> well, there was that one American that was, did he get, he, he's one of, there's, there's been a few U.S. guys who oh, have yeah. won it. But it's impressive. It's really impressive. It just It's cool to just see everybody running through the city. and, and That was a bucket list item for me before I hit 50. Yeah, no, that's awesome that you did it. And you went on the 50th anniversary, which is awesome. So I guess they started it, well, they started it a year after, year before I was born. Oh, so. Actually, probably the year you were born because they didn't count the virtual marathon last year. I think they look at just the official, like, oh, this is the official running of a... Oh. I'm just going straight up coffee. Um... No, so that's awesome, though. I, I was very impressed. Um, and that you finished it, you know? Now- it, was, it was nice because Kat was waiting <clears throat> at mile 18. Mm-hmm. She was waiting there for me. And she had my fucking orange Ragnar backpack like in front of her so I could mm-hmm. find her. And then she walked across from mile 18 over to mile 24, which is yeah. in the park. And I met her there. And that's when I put on the shirt that I have posted where it's like i shaved my balls for this (laughs) and it's so funny because i'm running and people are like i shaved my balls for this i was like you did me too (laughs) (laughs) well that's that shirt is always popular no matter where you go with that shirt it's always it's always a uh, it's a crowd pleaser it really is it really is then there's the people who are always like did you though i'm like yeah and they're like i don't believe you prove it i'm like are you asking me to pull my balls out right here (laughs) i know right i don't i don't don't want to catch a charge yeah, right. I want a, a decent exposure in the middle of a marathon. He pulled his balls out. Yeah. Well, you asked me to. Yeah, so I, yeah, it, it must be crazy. I mean, to run 26 miles. I mean, obviously, you walked some of it. And, and Barry. Barry, you know, you could have looked it up. I'm a Westchester transplant from Pennsylvania. You're asking the wrong guy about New York City bridges. Come on, man. Now I got to look it up. Somebody's going to tell us in the chat, unless Barry's like the only one who's listening. I only see about three on our. <clears throat> I know my wife doesn't even watch. Yeah. <laughs> that one, that one hurts just a little. I don't well, I know my girl eventually will watch. I think the main is she's uh, she's working and whatnot. So uh, West Drive, Brit. What's that? I don't know. I'm looking at the fucking. I think it's the 59th Street Bridge. Probably. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not one for the bridges of Manhattan. Yeah, because there's only, I mean, there's, you know, the what you talk about, Willis Bridge. Right. Willis Avenue, and then there's the 59th. And I had sent the whole fucking, like, map of it to Kat. So I was like, you got to meet me here. And she's like, wait, how do I get there? Oh, it must have been crazy just oh, to get into the city. Well, that's the thing is she bought, <clears throat> I use that app ParkWiz to get parking, like, way in advance. It's an app that lets you, like, buy a spot. Mm-hmm. Um. So you just show up at the garage and you're like, yeah, I reserved a spot. And I got her a spot at this one garage. And then she shows up and she's like, they're saying that they said they're full. And I was like, that's fucking bullshit. So now she had to drive around looking for a garage. Oh Luckily, God. she found one. But it's yeah. insane trying to get parking down there on that day. Yeah, because I would have loved to go down there just to experience it. I haven't been down there, like I said, since I was a kid watching it. But yeah, it was, you were like, oh, it's a fucking nightmare to get down there. So I was like, uh. I stayed the night before at some hotel with this one guy over in Ragnar with Paul who actually is a teacher in New Fairfield. Okay. Um, 
and it just made it easier. I mean, and then we walk down to the New York Public Library, hop on the little bus that takes us all the way over. Mm-hmm. And of course, in the middle of going over the fucking this motorcade with flashing lights and police escorts comes flying past us. I learned later on, I was like, that had to be the fucking Chelsea Clinton fucking motorcade. Oh, uh, <laughs> really? she was running it. Oh, Chelsea Clinton was running it? Yeah. Yeah, they always have a few, like, celebrities run it. Like, uh, I remember that one year, it was like, did he, ri- did, did he Runs the City or something like that? He did it. Did he run the city? Did I don't walk this shit. Yeah. But I, I'd see, I couldn't even walk that 26 miles. Even no. Yet. Don't they have something like, is it the day before or something like that, where you could actually walk it? If you wanted to. I'm going to guess. I know there's people who signed up for the virtual one, and you do that like over like a one-week period, You know, any day within the one-week period. Because they, they only had so many slots, and they cut it down to like 30,000 this year. Mm-hmm. And I think it normally is like 50,000. So they yeah. cut it down to 30,000. They added an extra start time, mm-hmm. which was the later one. And opened up a virtual one that was like, "Hey, run twenty six point two miles as part of like the New York State, New York Marathon," and you know, blah blah. And people, what people will do is go there to the starting point and run the actual course mm-hmm. the day before. But that's a bitch, dude. That's like, yeah, you're dealing with cars and traffic and <laughs> people want to fucking run you over. And there's points where you where you would come and like you're going, and there's just the crowds of people are so pushed in. It's like single file runner. Wow. Through it, and everybody wants to high five, and you're like, I don't want to touch your dirty COVID hands. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? It's like, dude, we're not that far removed from COVID, so I mean, come on, you know. But yeah, no, it was great that they did it. I'm proud of you for doing it. It's really, really cool. You must have been freaking hurting though the next oh, day. Yeah, and yeah. they give you these like ponchos, and it's like you're. It's the best because they give you this poncho. It's this blue fucking poncho because you're all soaked mm. and now you're fucking cold and you put that thing it's like okay i'm still a little i'm a little warm now yeah and everywhere you walk everybody sees your poncho like good job congratulations it's like sure i mean my choice was do that? it or fucking yeah. get a cab yeah <laughs> you just run about five miles and just jump at a bar somewhere and you're like all right i'm done i don't know how they have like bathroom stops so, like they got the water they've got bathroom porta potties and I'm just like, I don't know how anybody in the middle of this goes, I'm going to go in a New York City porta potty and take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've always shown those people that literally shit their pants while they're running. Oh. Yeah, I had people sending me those pictures. <laughs> don't end up like this guy. Well, and that's funny because there's people who hold up signs and one person had a sign that says, don't trust the fart after mile 18. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can totally see it. I mean, I oh, fucking shit my know. pants today. So, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, who has? <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> who doesn't it, shit their it, pants? Exactly. Um... No, that's awesome though. Like, and yeah, I think one of my kids was saying something like that. Like, what do they have to do? They go to the bathroom. I was like, well, if you piss, maybe you can just fucking just piss yourself and no, keep going. Tons of porta potties, you know. But yeah, I mean, I'm. Sh- it's not like, I mean, you obviously see the, the the professionals running it like that. The Kenyans, the Kenyans. But you know, as far as the every regular Joe, I mean, I'm sure you're not running consistently 26 miles. Uh, some people are, I mean, the, the <laughs> heat that I'm in is all the people are like, it's going to take me five to six hours to finish this. And all those people are like, run, run. there was one lady, I was like, we got to stop doing this. And she's like, huh? I was like leapfrogging each other. Mm. I was like, because I'll just be kind of trucking along at a nice pace and I'll stop for like a second not stop, but like walk just for a second. Yeah. And that was after like mile, like, I don't know, I like mile five or six, I developed this giant fucking blister in the arch of my foot and by mile eight, 16 17 it ruptured Oof. um and i would run and then like okay i'm running i'm running and then go okay hold on let me just walk a little bit because it really fucking hurts and walk and get some relief but as i'm walking i feel my calf muscles just twitching i'm like fuck but i had compression socks on i'm like that's probably why they haven't totally cramped up yeah and then like you know this lady keeps passing she'll come trucking past me and then, like, I'm like, whatever, and I'm just jogging along, do, mm-hmm. do, 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 and then I pass her, and I'm like, yeah, there she is, and I just go a little bit. I was like, let me walk a little bit, and all of a sudden, she'll come fucking trucking past me. I'm like, lady, yeah, we... you, do you realize if you weren't trying to book it every time you started running, you probably could just keep going nonstop? Yeah. yeah, it's like when you're driving in the city, and if, like, you keep a certain mile per hour, you could hit all those freaking greens and not worry about it. And she was like, I have no idea what I'm doing. I was like, I don't think any of us do. That's why we're here. Yeah. Well, still, I mean, five, six hours is not... A shit. Like when I saw your time, I was like, okay, that's, you know, considering 20, you know, that's five, five hours, 26 miles. About 12 miles an hour. Yeah. I mean, 12 minute miles. I mean, in the beginning, from the miles like one through 
six ish. Mm-hmm. I was doing like, but that was the pace I set forward. I was like, I want to do like eleven minutes so I don't. Because everybody who I've talked to was like, if you come out and hit that bridge going into Brooklyn mm-hmm. too fast, you're just going to fucking burn yourself out. And by mile 12, you're just like, I'm done. Yeah. So I kept a nice, easy, steady pace. It's and awesome. there's other people I saw that like didn't and burned out pretty bad. Mm. Well, I'm, <laughs> sure, I'm sure not everybody finishes. You know, a lot of people probably, sh- you know, shit to bed, like you said, you know. And then I'm I'm sitting there and like Donna at the fairy house is like good luck to John and Amy and I was like wait mm-hmm. I was like Amy you're running I like her she she puts posts a picture of herself in her running stuff with her bib on and I just zoomed in and I was like wait orange wave five that's me I'm orange wave five so I sent a message I was like Amy you're doing orange wave five me too yeah. maybe we'll see each other and then she sends me like a private message on Facebook she's like where are you I was like behind the bagel booth <laughs> under the tree in a red sleeping bag taking a nap. Oh, nice. And she's like, okay. And then you're not allowed to bring, like, you, you can bring a blanket into the waiting area. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, you get there. The bus out of Manhattan was, like, 6.15. Okay. So you get to Staten Island at, like, 7. And then I don't start running until noon. Oh, wow. And they start lining up at, like, 11.20. So it's like, what am I doing for the next four or five hours? Yeah. And she showed up, and we just hung out under the train. And then someone else from Mayapac that she knew. Was there? We just kind of hung out. Yeah, I saw pictures on Facebook of that you, you, because I know Amy's been running it. She's she's running a few times, I yeah. think. and she runs yeah. for Team Lupus because yep. she has lupus, so mm-hmm. she like is running for them. Yeah, I saw that there was a lot of uh, signatures and people signed her, you know, her bib and stuff like that. So that's awesome. Yeah, man. So that was a busy weekend. I, I feel. Uh, what the hell did I do? What besides watch you on TV? <laughs> I watched you on TV, drink. Yeah, well, I, you know, for me, I'm out of gig season now, so it's it's basically just rehearsals and, you know, the, the critically shame we're working on new music, so we started recording that, so that should be out next year, and uh, yeah, just um, yeah, really, that I've just been catching up on stuff, you know, all the movies and TV and stuff like that, which we'll get to. I think I got a little caught up on a lot of the TV shows I had saved and downloaded. Some of them I was just like, fuck this. I hit the eject button. I was like, I'm never going to watch this. Yeah, there, there it gets to a point with some shows where it's like the point of no return, where it's, you know, you look at it and it's just like, fuck, I can't. There's like too many episodes. Like even Day of the Dead, like you said. I, I want to watch it, but I'm like, it's probably, it's- even Chucky too, it's like, I, you know, I'm still watching it, but I think I'm, I think I'm like an episode behind. Oh, I'm. I got like three episodes of Chucky sitting on my computer to yeah. watch. And Day of the Dead, I haven't even downloaded the newer episodes because I'm like, it's not even worth it. Yeah. But I don't know if we talked about the fact that like half the cast on the show is from the fucking Hallmark Channel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I see you in a Christmas gift? The, yeah. The Christmas gift. Christmas in Connecticut. Oh, that's. Of the new Hallmark Channel. Oh, oh God. Oh, fuck that in the face. My um, brother will watch Hallmark Channel movies all day. Ew, and really? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to tease his ass next time. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's like, I don't care. I don't care. I like, I like the 31 Days of Christmas. Okay. Good on you. It is funny, though, like when you start watching Christmas specials, I think it was like a couple years ago. Where, you know, obviously you wait for the Rudolphs and you wait for the Frosties and all that stuff. But I remember getting to the end. It was like, maybe it was Christmas or after Christmas where the only thing that was left Christmas was the Mr. Magoo Mm -hmm. uh, Christmas Carol and Fat Albert's Christmas Carol. Which, uh, one of the characters was called (laughs) Tightwad Tyrone. (laughs) Tightwad Tyrone. I was like... What have we come to? I need to look that up. I think Mr. Magoo's was, uh, is that the one with Randall Berry dressing? I think that's the one it was. Oh, God, you have a better memory than me. Tightwad Tyrone. Yeah, is Tightwad Tyrone? Yeah, Tightwad Tyrone. I think that's supposed to be the Fat Albert version of Scrooge. It is. (laughs) Tightwad Tyrone. Damn. Yo, bitch, I ain't giving you none of that shit. (laughs) Wait, hold on. Let me see. Oh, what is what the fuck is that? The fifth day of shitmas, Fat Albert Christmas special, nineteen seventy seven. The the f- shitmas. Yeah, it, I don't know. It, it was a link on a site that was like this. Yeah, you know, you know, I know that freaking Bill Cosby is a toucher, but you know, uh, Fat. Albert, I don't know if you can on. see this. Bring back the Fat Albert. Do you see that over there or no? What on okay. my? Uh, this little I didn't know if. 
I didn't know. No, no, I didn't know if it was given over to you. The uh, I have my iPad set up over there as an extended screen, but I don't know if it's showing up as one. So no, it's no biggie. Time right. Tightwad Tyrone. Yo, that's a classic. So I might have to pull I might that. Have one to, out. I might have to watch that. I don't think I've ever seen it. I it, it was one of those things where like you know back in my drinking days, hung over on you know Christmas Day or the day after Christmas Day, just like. They're, I'm like, they're still showing Christmas specials? Fat Albert has a Christmas special? <laughs> okay, oh I'll watch that. I love Fat Albert. Hey, hey, hey. It's Fat Albert. It's time for the Brown Hornet. <laughs> <laughs> the Brown Hornet. You like school on summer vacation. School on summer vacation. No class. <laughs> Come on. Brown surprises. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> they all walk the same, you know. That is so funny. Oh, it's classic. I'm gonna have to pull it up, but we can't pull it up here because you know episodes get banned when you got copyrighted shit. Oh, they could suck it. Um, but anyway, yeah, we can get to our list here now of uh, stuff that you've watched. Did you want to go first? Because well, I mean, the, most the, of the stuff that I've watched, I don't. <clears throat> think there was anything new that I'm thinking of. Well, the day in the city, I went down to the city when I had time. I went to the 4D, Regal 4D cinema with the fucking shaking chairs and it blows oh, water. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'd hate to see a porn in that theater. But... I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, something's in my ass. <laughs> um, they hand you a water wing when you walk in. It's <laughs> fucking, the, the guy jizzes, you get shot in the face with the stuff. <laughs> Because it does have that misting shit. I would never want to see a Peter North one, you know. Oh, God. Yeah, you would just be soaked. By the time it would go over your head. It would, it would. It would definitely. Um, I saw The Eternals. Now, tell me about The Eternals because, as you know, I'm a Marvel shill and I love all that stuff. But I have yet to see, I have yet to see Dune. Right. I have yet to see The Eternals. Right. Um, so I'm behind in that stuff. But, uh. But yeah, tell me, give me your review of their Eternals and how it was. Now I heard like Eternals and Dune are almost kind of similar, like it's very heady sure. kind of. Sure. <laughs> okay. No. Please elaborate. It's, it it is and it isn't. Ah. Eternals, dog shit or not? Sort of. Sort of dog. Let's shit. put it this way: I'm okay. sitting in that fucking theater and the chair's going like, gah, 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 gah. whoa, and it like leans and fucking shit blowing in your face and things mm -hmm. poking you in the back it's like a massage chair that's like synced to the movie and i'm sitting there i'm watching it and all of a sudden i hear <laughs> the guy in the seat next to me is fucking out cold wow so i was gonna say even if you got stuff getting thrown at you and all that shit and you're still bored that's gotta be i mean i don't know like it it's something that you know hey when it goes on disney plus sure i'll check it out we I'm not. Real. This is the first Marvel movie I think since Captain Marvel that I'm just like oh, I'll get to it, you know. Like, yeah. I, it, it, which is strange. I mean, Shang Chi, like we've talked about, which it, is it, now on Disney Plus. Yes. That, it, have you seen that yet? I saw it in the theater. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we talked about that. But yeah, that one I was like, eh, okay. But I loved it. Um, this one has been getting kind of mixed reviews. Oh, it's not. It's too heady, like it's not... It's not even that it's heady, there's just... <clears throat> so I said to somebody, I was like, it is like fucking Thor Dark World fucked Age of Ultron and had Ooh. a... mentally incapacitated child. Because <laughs> it feels like there's so much stuff that feels like it doesn't need to be there, it doesn't add to the story. Mm. The story is so schizophrenic because... so. You think that Kit Harrington's character, like who's just a regular, mm -hmm. spoilers to everybody out there. I'm fucking, I don't give a shit. Spoiler. To, Spoiler. to the three people Spoiler. watching. <laughs> to the three people. Hey man, watching. I got one now. <laughs> you think Kit Harrington's character, when you find out, oh, he's he's not, you know, a superhero. He's just a regular old guy. Mm -hmm. You think he's okay? They're gonna use him as the guy that like, as why they have to explain everything. To the audience, like, mm -hmm. oh, this is, you know, Athena, and she's blah, 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 and, oh, okay, we have to explain it to this guy so that he knows, but really, wink, wink, we're explaining it to the audience. No. Yeah. No. He was in and gone, and they kept doing these flashbacks back and forth that I was like, oh, my God, I get it. It's like... Mm. Well, you know, I'm starting to, like we talked about just a minute ago, about 
near the end of Christmas, you're starting to watch Fat Albert Christmas and Razzleberry Dressing. We're at the point now with the Marvel movies where it's like, okay, we did the Captain Americas and we did the Spider-Mans and we did all this stuff. So like, uh, what do we have left? Uh... Uh, Eternals. Okay, we'll put that out. You know, or, uh, you know, even Shang-Chi or something like that. Now, you know, I'll always give them a chance just because sure. they've had their track record is great. And, you know, every time I'm kind of like, WandaVision? Really? I, I loved it, you know? So, but, you know, yeah, I mean, Eternals, it doesn't look like, from what I've heard, it's not something I want to rush. Everything that's in there feels like it was only in there to set up. What's coming? Okay. And that's it. And it was so bad, even if they fucking get a, you know, uh, the Eternals will be back. And, and it's like, will they, though? <laughs> that's at the end. It has that little, like, thing at the end. Like, the Eternals will be back. And Yeah, oh, they, they didn't say what it was? No. Well, I did hear, I mean, well, we're going to stick with the spoilers here. Spoilers. Um, I did hear the uh, the post credit scene. It's got a little blade action in it. Allegedly. Allegedly. There's the mid credit scene that's got a hardly animated fucking leprechaun fucking... What the fuck? Is, I can't remember what his name is. Voiced by uh, Patton Oswalt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There and is... then fucking, what is it, Star Fox pops out, who is yeah uh, Thanos' brother, played by Harry Styles. Yes, yes, that I heard about. The most interesting thing to me in the whole fucking movie was that... Mm. But they did say I, I heard that there was a blade reference in there. Like you don't see him, but you are you are you ready? Yeah, that's what he does. Oh, oh that's what like, he does. Are, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> that's how I felt. <laughs> well, thank you for uh, taking the bullet for me for that one because I am not going to see that. Save your money. Um, and you did see Dune, right? I did. I saw Dune a while ago, though. Now. Tell me, I like, like it, but that's me. Like, I, my whole thing with the disappointment is, if you're not a Dune fan, you're like, "What the fuck is going on here?" Because it's a very involved story, yeah. and they only tell the first half of the story. Yeah, and that's what a lot of people are kind of bummed about. Where it's just like, "Oh, what it just from what from what I've heard, it just ends like, yeah. like Tony Soprano in the fucking diner ends, like just boom." And you're like, "Wait, what?" You know, but um, I want to give it a chance. I will watch it on HBO Max. I've heard. Somewhat good things about it. I, I I remember the David Lynch version, which was just fucking right. bad shit crazy. <clears throat> well, you know in the David Lynch <laughs> version where Kyle MacLachlan and his mother get stranded on that rock, mm. and like the sandworm is like, oh, I guess I can't eat you. You're on a rock. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much where this movie stops. Oh, okay. Not exactly, but that same mm. part of the story, just I, halfway I, through. I, I will say, last weekend I did put it on for about five minutes and I fell asleep. Um, and you I will. Was, I was very tired. Um, it just seems like, you know, all these people say like, oh, it's, uh, you know, uh, the, the George Lucas got the idea of Star Wars from this and it's an old book from the 60s. And I'm like, all right. Like, I remember the David Lynch version not giving a shit about it. You know, why the fuck is Sting walking around in this freaking outfit? Um, it doesn't seem like it's... Because he's Sting. He's Sting. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. He fucks for 24 hours straight and doesn't uh, bust a nut. He's a, he's a legend. Um, I fuck for 24 seconds straight and bust a nut. In a row? <laughs> in a row? <laughs> 36 dicks in a row? I think Jay Moore had that, that joke where he's just like, I fucked my wife for 30 seconds in a row. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like, the, the thing about Dune, like, everybody got a pass. They got a pass with all the Harry Potter shit, like, taking that last story... The Deathly Hallows and breaking up into two movies because at that point everybody mm. knew Harry Potter. Everybody yeah. had read the books, and you were going in. Well, people were going in knowing that it was a part one, right? And people, I think, went into Dune knowing it was going to be a part one if they were paying attention. But right. how many people have fucking read Dune? I've read Dune, but I've never, a lot of I've people have not, book, and yeah. that's the point: is a lot of yeah. people have not read Dune, so they're like, "What the fuck just happened?" Yeah, <laughs> it's just, just that's how it ends. What the fuck is that shit? And it's like part two coming. I was like, not gonna wait two years to find out what the fuck happens next. Yeah, and it's gonna take two years to, for them to do that. And, well, I'll and give you, I'll give you Paul's name. Uh, become Wadi <laughs> becomes a <laughs> the killing word, and saying his name is like he teaches uh, 
all the sand people had to fucking say his name and they kill people with it. There you go. Yeah, the only sand people that I know are Tuscan Raiders, motherfucker. And Jawas, yeah. That's right. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's so far, like, a lot of the stuff that's been coming out as far as, like, movie-wise, like, even Halloween Kills, I was Uh. like, really? Like, there's so, like, there was a lot of movies I was looking forward to, and I've been disappointed. Even Disney Plus Day, when they did that Disney Plus Day, what the fuck was that? (laughs) It was like, no fucking Obi-Wan trailer, Mm -mm. no second trailer for Book of Boba Fett, they did these, like, 30-second clips of these shows. I didn't even know when it was going to be on. I got I, to see I'm Warwick like, Davis tell me there's going to be a Willow series. Yeah, who gives a flying fuck? <clears throat> you know, I'm like, still alive. There's a guy, I can't believe he's still alive. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I thought he was dead. <laughs> Where's that one? Oh, wait. Can I help you, sir? Yes, what is this? Huh? This is whack. I can't get jiggy with this shit. I thought you were dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I felt about all these fucking movies uh-huh. lately. And I'm just I'm just praying. I'm just trying to get to Ghostbusters Afterlife oh. and I I'm at, at Spider-Man No Way Home. They, they, they got we got a, bo- book of Boba Fett. I, we got to finish this year right. Correct. I've, I've stopped watching anything Spider-Man No Way the No Way Home. No. No, it's fa- uh No Way Home. Yeah, no way home. the last one was Far From Home. <clears throat> I've stopped watching any of the promo stuff for it because I feel like it's ruining the movie. Well, yeah, I mean, well, they haven't really shown, you know, they had that one big trailer, which was awesome. And mm-hmm. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of different... They got the Tobey Maguire thing that they showed. Uh, uh, oops, we, we showed you a snip that's got Tobey Maguire in it. Sorry about that. Yeah, like, wait, well, what? that was like the fucking and we worst know, kept secret in, in, in the world. You we know, know they're all the... Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire, they're all going to be in it. But it's like, you know what? Let me, like, enjoy that moment of, oh, shit, there he is. Like, yeah. Even yeah. the Doc Ock shit, and I mean, yeah. Now you got, to, and even on the poster, now you see the little freaking Green Goblin. You know yep. he's gonna be next. They threw the freaking pumpkin bomb. There's so many different. You know, th- this thing is gonna be like from what Tom Holland says. It's like you know, and he, he's usually the fucking spoiler king. Yeah. Um, but he says it's like the End Game, Spider Man End Game. I'm so glad I'm done with this. I die at the end. Oh, was I not supposed to tell everybody that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's the. <laughs> I love Tom Holland. He's great. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to all the, you know, I mean, so I, I just, I'm praying that it's not going to be one of those like Spider Man 3, the Amazing Spider Man 2 thing where it's like too many villains. Yeah. You know, you got Doc Ock, you got freaking the Green Goblin, you got, uh, they, they said Electro is going to be in it. There's a, apparently a, somebody caught a glimpse of the lizard being in it. And it's just like, Dude, I get it. Like, are they just dumping all this in there? And then you're gonna throw in the other, you know, the other Spider-Man in there, and you got Doctor Strange, and it's just like, holy fuck, you know, like. Well, and that's like what they're saying about the Ghostbusters movie is like, oh, it's so much fan service bullshit. It's like, well, that's what people want. Yeah, and from what I've heard, I mean, I'm a big Ghostbusters fan, obviously, but like, from what I've heard from that, from what I've seen on there and the reviews that have come in the early reviews is like this is a fucking great sequel it's not you know like it's true to the you know it's not does it, it pretend that the one with all the ladies in it didn't ever happen that I don't know I know wondering. the original cast is gonna be in it and all that shit well yeah you see the new trailer you hear Bill Murray at yeah the light, end him, up. It. light yeah. him up yeah yeah I mean I'm that's Ghostbusters Afterlife and Spider-Man no but you don't get home. Ivan Reitman obviously no but that the little maybe girl maybe he's a ghost <laughs> yeah he could be a force ghost um but he um well what's great is the casting is that they have uh they have that girl that's supposed to be his granddaughter right that looks just like uh, oh you know God. like and they have the stranger things kid in there and you got sexiest man alive paul rudd sexiest um, man alive paul rudd who doesn't love a paul rudd <laughs> <laughs> Get up to Sam Sweets and check out Paul's Rudd. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's a nice that's, that's guy. The coffee, that's the chocolate place, the sweet shop he owns in, what is it, Rhinebeck? Oh, no. Oh. Him and, uh... I get confused with the Jeffrey. Doesn't Jeffrey D. Morgan have a candy place I, around it's here, It's him too? and Jeffrey D. Morgan own it together. Oh, okay. It's called Sam Sweets. Sam Sweets. Not an official sponsor. But we don't give a We'll fuck. take it, <laughs> you know. Anyway, but no, yeah, those are the two that I'm, like, super anticipating. But, like, same thing with, like, Disney Plus Day. What a fucking... Like, so far, we've just been getting kicked in the dick for the past couple months. I'm like, just give me something. 
It's like when she takes off her bra and it's just filled with tissues. Oh, so nothing worse than a flat soap. You don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst. Um, but it's just... <laughs> Why are you guys hating on Flatso's? I'll take it. Flatso's uh, of America Unite. We need to cancel this show. I mean, if you're going to ride that shit, you better be, you know, you better have some extra juice in there. I don't. I, I don't. Uh, there's nothing worse than a, a Flatso. It's the worst. Or when they have those tits that look like balloons that kind of deflate. <laughs> I'm tapping out. Gonna get myself in trouble. What tits are you looking at? <laughs> Quid. 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 <laughs> anyway, back on track. Back Disney on the... Plus Day. Fuck Huge you, Disney Plus. I uh, come on. You better uh Not even I don't even think there was like one full trailer of anything on No. That. Give us a fucking and, and well, you know what it is is Unfortunately, shows like ourselves and other shows out there, we're all hyping it up. Like, what's going to happen? Oh, I think this is going to happen. I think it's going to... Disney, in, in their defense, never promised an Obi-Wan trailer. No. We all just assumed that we're like, oh, yep. yeah, we're going to get that trailer. And then they, they had that little featurette, and you're like, okay. Um, well, wait, we did get the Baymax trailer. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, 30, a moon, well, a moon 30 seconds teaser. of She-Hulk, like 30 seconds of Ms. Marvel. We got the we got the Moon Knight teaser. Moon Knight teaser, that was good. I mean, they all look great, you know. But you know, being the Star Wars guy, I'm like, give me fucking Obi Wan, give me Andor. No Andor trailer yet. Nope. We got nobody knows any of that shit. Um, you know, but it's like, hey, we got Star Wars Visions. So it's like, who gives a fuck? Nobody cares. Under the helmet, I'll show you what's under my helmet. Oh, the yeah. legacy of Boba Fett. Oh, did you watch that? I watched no. it. It's good. It's like 15, 20 minutes. It's like the origins of Boba Fett, um, how they came up with the character. That I mean, the book of Boba Fett looks fucking. Oh dope. yeah. It looks like I, somebody had heard mentioned online. It looks like uh, it's like Star Wars Sopranos. Like it's like gangster shit, which looks fucking awesome. Um, so I'm well, psyched about it. That. It picks up right where the Mandalorian left off with Boba Fett taking over. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Bib Fortuna. Yes. Yeah. takes takes out Bib Fortuna, sits on the throne, and, and uh, kills some people. Yeah, kills a few people. A few, a I few. rule with diplomacy. Yes. Kill him. Who no. votes? <laughs> <laughs> we kill him. All right. It's unanimous. Yeah, whatever. whatever. Uh, but yeah, no, that looks good. So I mean, as far as those are all the stuff. You know, like well, like I've said, you know, I've been kicking the last couple of movies I've watched. Uh, it will be interesting because near the end of the year, we really should do like a top 10, do another ranking of the movies of the year, movies of the year, TV shows of the year, stuff like that. I love those year end shit. I don't think there was another movie I saw, though. I haven't <laughs> seen anything like somewhat new. Uh, I'm thinking I'm what did I watch. What the fuck did I watch? Um, I watched some TV. Oh, well, uh, hook us I up I think we both TV. watched Dexter. Yes, we have to talk both about Both episodes? That. Yes. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I caught damn. up. Yeah, yeah. It, let me tell you, that Dexter New Blood, uh, phenomenal. Uh, some of these shows come back and you're like, oh, what the fuck is this shit? Well, they're course correcting, which is great, because everybody was disappointed with season eight, the final season. Right. You know, everybody's like, Really? Like, that it was such horse shit near the end. Such a great... Like, the first four seasons of Dexter, fucking phenomenal. Yep. Each one, the Trinity Killer, all that shit, great, you know. Uh, then it started getting downhill, and then, and, then, and then so, for them to come in and do, you know, I'm hoping that it's just the one season. Ten episodes. Oh, yeah. Just course correct that finale. You know, I love when shows do that, where it's just like... Oh yeah, that you know people are really disappointed in the finale. Blah, 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 blah. All right, well let's put this together and course correct it. And it's not a cash grab. It's not like people wanted this. You know, I wanted it. You know, and uh, yeah, so far the first two episodes, great. Really, I, good I will stuff. say I did go. See, I did see No Time to Die. <laughs> I I I don't think I can't even tell you the last time I've seen a James Bond film. Who was James Bond? Uh, uh, when I saw, I've never seen any of the Daniel Craig's, <clears throat> which you know I've heard they're good, but it's just not my bag, man. 
Uh, I think the last one I saw was <clears throat> fucking. God, was it Pierce Brosnan? I don't even know. I don't even know. Yeah, it was a. I mean, I don't know. It was a Bond, but it was like two hours and forty five minutes, and it was like. Yeah. Yeah, it's I, kept, I, I literally kept nodding off. Yeah, I mean it's a disappointment. I just wanted to throw that in. Yeah, no, I mean like I said, there's been. Thank God for the palate cleanser that was Dexter, because I was waiting like I was. How long is it gonna be before he fucking kills somebody? Yeah. And I'm glad they got it out of the way in the first episode. Yeah, and now it's interesting because you know he he goes back to the the old Dexter ways and stuff. Well, at least for that one, and they do have this villain that they're teasing, you know, uh, throughout hold, the second. Hold on, ready. Spoiler. <laughs> Spoilers, people. If you haven't Spoiler, watched it, Dexter's back. He kills people. <laughs> He's trying I, to be good. I'm trying to do a freaking Sylvia. Man, he kills people. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. He I kills can't. people. Uh, he runs around. He's got plastic. Uh, what are you gonna do? Hey, Dexter, <laughs> Dexter, you really should. Uh, Jim, you really should get a tarp for that wood. You should get some tarp for that wood. I did. You know? I had to wrap a body up in it, okay? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why does your new girlfriend look like your sister? Uh, uh, coincidence? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, that's the worst Sylvia impression I've ever heard. I will agree. <laughs> yes. <laughs> boo. Um, a boo. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was cool to see. Uh, that's for you. Oh, gee whiz. Um, it was good. I Yeah, I watched the second episode today. Um, and it's... It's I was going up late like, last night watching it. Yeah, so. yeah, and it's the, we got the main villain going on. We got the, uh, you know, Dexter in the snow, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm I'm excited to see how it plays out. As far as that other TV, I wonder if Harrison's become like a fucking. Now, do we know that it's definitely Harrison? I mean, I mean, I, we should get Maury on this shit. We don't know. This kid walks in. You hey, were not the father. I'm, I'm Harrison. <laughs> how do we know he wasn't in a group home with Harrison and killed Harrison? You never know. I mean, we'll see. I could write for this show. Yeah. Give me a job. Yeah, it's nice to see Deborah back, though. Oh. You know, as, as a freaking. The... You mean uh, his ex-wife? Yeah, yeah. Yelling at him, he's probably like, oh, I've seen that before. <laughs> the scene where yeah. she shoves her fingers in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, why do I think that was some method acting going on there? Yeah, like, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. yeah, seriously, that she's probably getting out of a lot of regressions on him, but. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah, as far as other TV that I'm watching, like I said, Chucky, I've been I've been keeping up with. I finally finished Heels, which I, I was I got lost in that, and then I finally was like, oh wait, is it done? Let me watch that. Um, I'm still hate watching Fear of the Walking Dead. World Beyond, watched, World I, Beyond is great. I'm caught up with World Beyond, and I'm really mad that like this is the last season of World Beyond. I know. Well, th- hopefully they'll finish that strong. Fucking that. garbage dump lady's back. Yeah. <laughs> With that fucking haircut. Oh. Can you cut it like Mo? <laughs> you know what? There's so many things I want to say, none of which are politically correct. So. No, 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 whatever, you know. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, yeah, and then Fear to Walk in, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously, I'm, I'm fucking hate watching it. I think I, I think I stopped watching it season three. Well, th- the first couple seasons of Fear were great. Then the, the, when they got rid of the, you know, as people started dying off, then Morgan comes in, and then it, now there's a fucking nuclear fall. I'm like, why? Why? Oh, they, did, they did a meltdown? Oh, yeah, they did a fucking Chernobyl shit. Oh. Yeah. They fun. stole that right from fucking, what is that zo- that zombie show? There was another zombie show that was on. Mm. That that was like one of the major plot points of that zombie show. Yeah, I mean, apparently the last season, you know, they, they, you know, they always have like the villain of the season, you know, so... They had this one guy, Teddy, who had Teddy. all these nuclear... Su- you know, he, they, there was a sub and had all these nuclear warheads, and they tried to stop them, but one or two of them got off. And now they're walking through, like, fucking Chernobyl zombies and shit. It is so... As, Z you know, Nation. It is so fucking bad. But I, I, I'm like hate watching it now. I'm like, you're watching. Because I'm like, a completist. What, what shit are they gonna fucking like, annoy me with today? <laughs> could you give me something? You, you fucking ruin my shit. You know. But so show me them God. taking out a file with Rick Grimes photo on it, yeah. please. Yeah, <laughs> just give me something. <clears throat> but World Beyond is a pleasant surprise. I thought, you know, the main show. I'm glad that it's ending, um, just because you know they're they're following the course. Um, fear was so great in the beginning then it just became fucking dog shit 
and I keep going like no, oh, like I'm a fucking jilted lover. I'm like no, seriously, this season's gonna be better. I heard it's now they're gonna have like a, you know nuclear zombies and blah, blah, blah. it's fucking dog shit. And then when World Beyond started, I was like they're giving us another one. Like what the fuck? But this one is actually really good. Um, although I still can't stand fucking Huck. <sighs> Her voice just drives me nuts. Uh. Nuts, I tell you. <laughs> a goddamn fish, Jonathan. <laughs> For mayor, I, I started, can somebody I started tell me if the bass did win for mayor? I, I don't know. We'll have to look that up. I mean, a goddamn fish for mayor. It, uh, it, you got to go in the past episode for that one. Bass? But yeah, so um, <laughs> Connecticut. It's a, yeah, New Fairfield or Connecticut. Town of New Milford, Connecticut. Did bass win? Did bass win? Was there a goddamn fish in the? Governor's Mansion. Pete Bass. <laughs> Is that his name, Pete Bass? Yeah, Pete mm. Bass, pain in the ass. What? Pete Bass from... Goddamn fish, Jonathan. <laughs> uh, so Don't get me started with Bass from Mayor. Um, we'll find out if he's a mayor. Um, if so, you know, good on you. Um, so know. When was it, election day? November 2nd. Oh, God. Isn't that how I it always way is? Back. I mean, it's not always the second. It's like... Super Tuesday, whatever. You know, whatever fight, Football but fight. All you know is that you know the, the Democrats are passed. We're not going to get political. No milk. Um, we just want to know. All I want to know, Jonathan, is if there's a fucking fish in the governor's mansion. If there's a goddamn fish in the mansion. I don't, I don't goddamn fish. I'm trying to find out, man. Don't worry about the fish. Anyway, so yeah, we uh, yeah, the, those those TV well, shows. Watching were, uh, watching delicious. Dexter the second episode last night, I still wasn't ready to go to bed. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So I was like, mm, this looks interesting. Let me watch this. On Showtime, there's uh, Yellow Jackets. Oh, I saw the trailer for which, Yellow Jackets, uh, which looks good. Chaba, chaba. It's got Christina Ricci in it. Ooh. You can always give me a Christina Ricci something. Oh, did she eat a sandwich or something? Because she was looking a little, little peak. Uh, leave, little peak leave her alone. <laughs> All right, I will. Um, it's like I hate doing the whole. It's like this with this, but it's mm-hmm. basically Lord of the Flies with alive. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. I saw, you know, when I was watching the Dexter uh, New Blood, they showed the trailer for that. And I was like, oh, that looks really good. Um, but all the stuff that happened, they're like a soccer team that was going to like the championships and they're playing crashed in like this national forest. It's like thousands of acres and they were mm-hmm. there for apparently 19 months. And you find out all the stuff that happened there because it's told from present day and it's all told as flashbacks. Okay. I'm down with that. It was, uh, I'm not going to spoil nothing, but yeah, I, was well, like, yeah. I was like, I was like, oh, God damn. God damn, Kilogram. Kilogram is right. Yeah. People killing people. People killing people. That's, you know. <clears throat> there is another new show I started watching. Oh, yeah? What's that? The Mayor of Kingston. The Mayor of Kingston. With Jeremy Renner. Jeremy Renner. Mm, okay. okay. Mayor of Kingston. What's the other guy's name? I hate when they do this on a show. They're like... Starring Jeremy Renner and, and that other guy. guy. And it's like uh, Kingstown. Sorry, not Kingston. Mayor of Kingston? With uh, Kyle Chandler. Kyle Chandler, okay. He, you may know Kyle Chandler from the show Friday Night Lights. From Argo Fuck Yourself. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Star Wars Visions. Mm-hmm. So he was a little thing in that. Catch twenty. Didn't get into any of the Star Wars Visions. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, he's you, he's one of those guys you see me go. Oh, that guy. But he played like one of the main guys in that. Uh, he was on. Gr- oh God, my wife's gonna kill me. He was on Grey's Anatomy. Oh boy. He played Dylan Young. Oh. Uh, Dylan. Then what about, <laughs> what about Joan? Dylan. Dylan. Look. What is the name he, of the show? He dies in the first fucking episode, though. Oh, it's shit. like when I watch that show, Blue, Big Sky, with the... Uh, what the fuck is his Oh, name? my mother tried to get me into the Big Sky. I'm like... Mm. <clears throat> what the hell's his name? Uh, Ryan Felipe. Oh. Who gets fucking killed in the first episode. What the Felipe is going on it's like, here? Big Sky starring Ryan Felipe for one episode. Yeah. And then he's dead. <laughs> Spoiler alert. He's fucking... 
Gonna bash for mayor in the Milford. How do you like that one, Shagger Day? Isn't that where Shag lives? Shagger Day. Shag, your fucking mayor is a fish. Listen, you fuck. You elected a goddamn fish for mayor. Mayor Jonathan. <laughs> Are we even on anymore? Uh, we, we, I think we back on. I just see that the video is no longer available. Uh, Mr. Chitlin. Mr. Chitlin. Who cares? We got the audio still going. Oh, uh, we, uh, yeah. It looks, uh, like no. it's, looks like it's still on. Yeah. Let's try this. Something disconnected. Huh? 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 So, I like you a lot? <laughs> well, thanks, John. I like you a lot, too. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, we're back on. Is it, uh, I care a lot. I is care is a, lot. a movie on Netflix, lot. which is, uh, yeah, it was this court-appointed legal. I'm gonna read the synopsis oh, of it yes. here. A court-appointed legal guardian defrauds her older clients and traps them under her care, but the latest mark comes with some unexpected baggage. Um, all I'm gonna just say, just a little bit of baggage, though. Just a just a tad baggage. Just about a three foot baggage. <laughs> all I have to say is now. I was home. Uh, my daughters were there this weekend. Um, well, actually, just my eldest daughter was there, Zoe. So we're trying to pick out a movie, and this is me and my mother and uh, and and Zoe, and we're flipping through, and uh, you know they're always like, oh well, you know, let, let's see what movies. Are. You know, most of the movies we we have bad. You know, we have completely different tastes. So my mom, uh, Mimi goes, all right, let's put on this movie. I care a lot. We watched the trailer. All I saw was Peter Dinklage. I said, I'm in. Man. Fucking, give, me, give me a dink. <laughs> I was like, give me the fucking Dinklage all day long. He's got this sweet ass fucking goatee beard. It's a, oh. it's a good movie. It's uh, yeah, it's about this woman who basically guess. like, yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, this woman is a real scumbag, and it, it's it's interesting because when you watch the movie, there's the, the you actually start to feel bad for her at one point. Y- yeah, you're like. You know, oh, I hope that she doesn't, you know, it, it, they, they, you know, like, if she succeeds, I'm still going to be pissed off because she's still a bad fucking person. Yeah. You know, and Dinklage is like, you know, he's like one of those little tiny mafia guys about this big. Um, But he, you know, he, he, uh, he goes after the woman and, you know, you want him to almost kind of, but he's bad too. Yep. So at the end, you know. I'm Who do I hate just, more? <laughs> yeah, like it's like the lesser of two evils. You're like, okay, well, no matter what happens, I'm gonna be pissed off because they're fucking mad. But, um, yeah, that was the only. Like, I just thought of that while we were chatting and talking I, about. And TV it made and me stuff think like because that. you watch it on Netflix. I watched that. Uh, what's that fucking new movie on Netflix? Uh, Red Red Notice. Oh, was that the one with the with the Rock? The Rock and uh, was that any good? I liked it. No, no, I can't. <laughs> Don't Red, do it. Uh, Red Notice, yeah. With Red the, Notice. Uh, with The Rock and with... Don't, uh, do, that. Don't do that. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, Rock. I know what you're doing. Don't do I'm that. Doing I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Rock. I couldn't remember his name. Um, uh, but... Fuckface McGee. Yeah, uh, no, no uh, Ryan Reynolds. R- Ryan Reynolds and mm-hmm. Gal Gadot. I always forget to throw her in there because I'm like, it's the fucking Rock. Yeah, well, the rock supersedes it. It's like rock, paper, scissors. He's just fucking right. rock always rock wins. wins every time. That's right. I don't care if you got paper and paper covers rock, because I'll just flex and rip that paper off. That's me. right. I don't give that shit. You're going to cover a goddamn rock with a piece of paper? What the fuck does that do? You, okay, I, I cover, like the, cover the piece, put a piece of paper, put it over a rock. I'm still going to pick up the rock and throw it in your fucking face. That's and right. With the piece of paper on the outside. And it's still you know hurt. what I'll do? I'll write a note. It says, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> We've definitely gone off the rails on this one. I hope you're happy. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is fucking shit. I do want to say, I haven't listened to it. Wait, where is it? Where is it? Oh, dazzle me. I haven't listened to it, but I definitely have a... Uh... Wait, wait, where is it? Can I help you, sir? Yes, what is this? Huh? This is whack. I can't get jiggy with this shit. I thought you were dead. Oh, well, wait, wait, please enlighten me. Is this, uh, wait, me, uh, have we moved on to music now? Or we Okay. I haven't listened to it. Rod Stewart's got a new album. <laughs> is it? Why? Is it a rock album? I, I know he's, or is I it a big know. band album? 
I went through <clears throat> mine, and it seems like uh, I, I've noticed it a lot. You know, the 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 art of the full length album is it's dying. Done. Yeah, I mean, everything that I've seen in the new releases, I'm like, oh, cool, Hot Water Music has a song out, and it's like they have a new album out, but the album's coming out in you know February. Right and here's a single. Um, I'm down with it. You know, like there was a lot of bands this week that put out some good songs they're not albums they're the singles right. like killing time hot water music uh code orange has a song out uh, a single uh stereophonics who i love has a single out of love has another single out the only one who put out a full-length record which hit that fucking button can i help you sir yes what is this huh this is whack i can't get jiggy with this shit I thought you were dead. Uh, this would be Dave Gahan oh. uh, and the Soul Savers have a new album out. Imposter. Not bad. Um, a little slow. A little uh, croony. But okay. I was like, oh, well, at least that's a whole album out. Oh, you know what is another whole album that came out, not this week. I see okay, you're going to mention the one that I'm looking at, but go ahead. Let's see. Uh, Mastodon. Nope. Oh, okay. Mastodon has a new record out. Which is fucking killer. Um, yeah, if, if I wish I knew the name of it. <laughs> oh, and another one, another single. Fucking the Chromags have a new single out. So it's, it's, you know, Government the, Mule? Government Mule? Yeah, I'm looking at new releases for the week of November 12th. You've got the Rod Stewart. That's what I was looking for the name of the album. The Tears of Hercules. The Tears of Hercules? Yeah. But I didn't even know They Might Be Giants has a new album. What? Called Book. Book. I would love to play some of it, but we're not allowed. Fuck you, nope. YouTube. Nope. Government nope. Mule's got a new album. And the, the They Might Be Giants is a full album, because that's how okay. they roll. It looks like Government Mule's is a full album, too. But I'm oh, not okay. enough of a Government Mule fan to know if this is like new shit or live shit or... Mm. <clears throat> if they're pulling a fucking uh, what the fuck is her name? Uh, her remix of Red. Uh, oh, Tay Tay. <laughs> Taylor Swift, yeah, Tay Tay Swift. Tay Tay. Oh, you know, I did discover. I, they're not really new, um, but I did discover a band that was. It was one of those things where I was like, "Wait, I, why? Why haven't I heard of this band before?" It's a band called Field Day. Okay. Have you heard of Field Day? Feel now, I'm like okay. So it came up on one of my Facebook things. It's two of the guys from Dag Nasty. Oh, and they have an album. They have a single out uh, called Invitation, and they you know they have uh, some singles out. Uh, they they put out an album last year, Opposite Land. Um, fucking good ass freaking punk rock shit. It's awesome, nice. and and I was like, wait, two guys from. Because it said something about they had like a former member of the sentence in there, but I didn't, I don't know who. It may have been one of those guys that like bring on tour and they're like, uh, you know, we just need somebody to play guitar this show. Yeah, it's basically it's Peter Cortner and Doug Carrion uh, from Dag Nasty. Um, they have a new band out. Um, and oh, Doug Carrion was the one he played with the descendants. I don't fucking, I don't even remember that. Ah. Um, ah. <laughs> but it's really good. Field Day, it's, you know, even the symbol on it looks like the Dag Nasty one. And I was like, and they do, you know, obviously they have their own album and they have their own stuff, which is very, you know, it's it doesn't sound a lot like Dag Nasty, but it's in that same vein of the, uh, you know, the, the, the punk rock stuff. But I was, I, I started going down a rabbit hole with them um, and they play, you know, they play a lot of freaking, you know, wig out of Denko stuff, which I'm like, oh my God, I gotta go see these guys. They sound great. They sound great. So that was as far as mu music goes. I mean, um, I did notice there was a lot. And we'll put stuff on our pod. You know, don't forget, we have our Spotify playlist that we put stuff on. Um, and I don't know if you got to check out that, uh, <clears throat> what's it called that I sent you? Uh, Letterboxd? Yes. Letterbox, which is like, oh, create a list of, let's take a playlist of movies or that you've t watched or that you want to watch or... Mm -hmm. Whatever, um, we'll probably have to look into that and put a link up where we all the fucking stupid movies we talk about. Yeah, pop them on there. Yeah, we'll put some of those movies on. You know, we're expanding a little bit. You know, we have the uh, 
you know, the Letterboxd and the uh, the Twitches and the Spotify's and all that shit. So That's we're right. trying. You know, we're trying. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know where we're at as far as time-wise. Um, one hour, one minute. Wow. This, I thought we'd be talking like a crazy motherfucker in a whole we time. We are. Yeah. So, but as far as like new stuff, really, there hasn't Is been, it? there's been stuff I've discovered that were new. Um, still keeping up with some of the, the, the television shows and movies, you know, that, like we said, uh, we're at this point. Like that piece of shit show, the 4400. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Did 40... I talk about that yet? No. <clears throat> really quick. There's this new show called The 4400. Okay. It's about these people who disappeared all throughout time and then all of a sudden one day popped up in the middle of this park falling from the sky like, hello. <laughs> okay. But it was a show that was on years ago mm-hmm. and they rebooted it. it it's so bad. <laughs> the original one wasn't even that good. It's an interesting premise that like all these people from throughout time who have gone magically missing. Okay. Now, all of a sudden, you're showing up together on one day in one place, but even that, it's like, oh, my fucking God. Yeah. Yeah, it's, a, is it a network show? Yeah. Well, that's, that's. I'll tell you what network. I saw, I actually saw a, uh, uh, a, 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 I guess a television spot or a, or a trailer for La Brea, that show you were talking oh. about. Before. And I'm still, I think I'm fucking hate watching that. Really? Because I'm still watching every episode. I'm like, oh my God, oh, the fuck is, oh, this fucking show. <laughs> The the original forty four hundred show. Let's see who was in this. Because the original show had like a pretty fucking heavy duty cast with like, let's see, Joel Gresh. I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, forty four hundred. I mean, the new one is just like oh. <laughs> I can't even. I'm not even gonna get into why it's so. Uh. It's bad. Yeah, well, you know, like I said, it, I've never been a fan of <clears throat> the network TV shows. I mean... CW. C- you are always the CW. Oh, what's up there, yeah, CW? Phineas J. Frog. <laughs> <laughs> that was the WB we used to call it. The WB. Man, WB. Um, yeah, everything's got to be fucking either streaming or, yep. you know, AMC uh, is killing it. You know, well, not necessarily killing it, but... Uh, you know, well, that's where that them. show. I th- <clears throat> there was one show I tried watching. It was an AMC one. I'm like, I give up. I can't watch this. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the, at this point, they've <clears throat> become the Walking Dead Network because they'll never let that go. Although right. I did hear a rumor that they're looking at Norman Reedus to play Ghost Rider. That'd be interesting. MCU. I mean, it seems kind of on the nose because they're just like, hey, this guy is popular and he rides a motorcycle. Let's put him as. Let's make his face all flamey. <laughs> what, what is this stupid show? But I'd be down with that. But yeah, yeah I mean, uh, you know, music-wise, like I said, we've seen a lot of singles. Movies, I've just been completely disappointed with a lot of the stuff that's been coming out. Well, um, But, yeah. you know, December is always a good month for all that stuff. Like I said, I'm excited to see Ghostbusters. Okay. I'm excited to see Spider-Man, obviously. I don't know if there's other stuff that's come out. But like I said, you know, next year, next year, next month, we should probably do list of top 10. I'm going to start. I, I, yeah, I got to start thinking of movies this year that I've been like, wow, this is great. Because we really haven't had, we haven't had, it's been mostly television. I mean, right. you know, not a lot of Star Wars. All Star Wars was kicking ass on TV. Marvel's been kicking ass on TV. Um Movie wise, a lot of that stuff came out with you know with, where it's like HBO Max and stuff, which is great. Yeah, you know, like Many Saints in Newark, I liked a lot, um, but I'm glad I didn't go to the theater for it. You know, um, but yeah, be interesting. Let me to get your ass to the theater, go see that clip of the Big Red Dog movie. It, it's a spoiler alert. <clears throat> the fucking dog is big. House Have you Gucci. seen that shit? House of Gucci. Oh yeah, with the uh, 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 Kylo uh, Ren. <laughs> Yo, Kylo Ren's in that shit and, and fucking Lady, Lady Gaga. Gaga. Lady, Lady Gaga. Gaga. Lady Gaga. Oh, I didn't realize Ghostbusters comes out next week. Yeah, it's next week. I'm excited. Private I'm theater gonna put, rental. I'm going to pull out my proton pack and cross the streams 
<laughs> Maybe we'll go together. We'll, we'll pee in the same urinal and cross the streams together. Yeah. Just for all time's sake. And you got to do that trick where you go into the bathroom and uh, pull out the, uh, the the toilet seat cover and just put it over your head and go, I don't understand. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> take I my ass. Take my ass. <laughs> I always, don't get it. That was always my favorite. That was my favorite. This I mean, when I knew you were going into the stall, I was like, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. He's going to come out with the toilet paper on his ass. Not on your ass, on your head. The best is when it's about your head shaved and it sticks to your bald head. Oh, yeah. Good times. That paper. Good times. <clears throat> yeah, I'm All afraid right. I'm afraid to shave my head. It might just... That, plus, I got weird lumps on my head. But that's a whole other story. It's the tumors. It's not the tumor. <laughs> I said it's a freaking alien. It's probably got eggs in it. You I, know? I, I am going to say I'm a little disappointed. Of? That we haven't had to... Back in the days when I was young. God damn it, we're old. Yeah, no, we... Not once have you said back in the day. I know, well, because we haven't been... T- we haven't really uh, adventured into a, a back in the day story. Um, huh? We did what's new. We talked about all our TV shows and our movies and our... So do we have a good... Back in the day story? No. I'm trying to think. Yeah, don't, I mean... Don't we, push it. It's got to be natural. It's got to... It's just it's got to come out. It's like with the Donger Deli, which, by the way, <laughs> everybody, we have merchandise available. If you want yourselves a Donger Deli t-shirt or a Hey Pal What's New t-shirt, go to our Facebook page. We have a spot where you can purchase that stuff, put it on a mug, put it on a fucking... You know, and we'll come out with new ones. I mean, we got to do Bass for Mayor. <laughs> oh, God bless you. Go oh. for it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm working, on, I'm working on that little animation. Hopefully it'll be done soon. Yes, I I'll mean, show you what I got so far when we get oh, off the air. Oh, God, I can't wait. I mean, that's the first, after we did that one segment where we were losing our mind, and we, we lost our mind on it today. Goddamn fish from there. <laughs> Goddamn. I, I just said that to you and said, I have to see a fish with a suit on and a tie. <laughs> that's all I have to see. That's all I want. That's all I want in life is that. Um, but yeah, yeah, the back in the day stories we gotta we gotta think of a few. You know what that usually helps is when we have a phone guest. Which, by the way, everybody, we're gonna start I, being being. You my know. phone guest guy didn't contact me back. I'm a little mad at him. Nah, that's all right. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, hunt him down and punch him in the gooch. Yeah, well, we'll do a little bit of housekeeping here. Like I said, you can go to our Facebook page. Um, we're almost at 200 likes, so we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, so yeah, like us on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, you know, we have some other stuff coming out. We have the merch link on there on our Facebook page. You can pick up some cool shit. Go to our Spotify playlist. We have a playlist of all the songs that we play on these song, uh, the bands that we talked about. I'm gonna throw in a couple of them on there. Uh, we'll, we'll get that shit rocking and rolling for you. Try and get the letterbox uh, movie list. up. Yeah, we'll get the letterbox movie list up. So you know, yeah, go on the you know. Go on the podcasting, support everything that we have going on. Like, share, subscribe, write us a review. Um, we're going to start taking phone call guests. We are going to, um, what else? Sponsors. Anybody wants to sponsor a live read on this podcast? Um, we're going to be busy. You know, holidays is going to be a little bit weird. You know, Maybe you got... we'll have Santa Claus on the show. Oh, spoiler alert. Santa Claus. I happen to per- personally know Santa. You do. I sat on his lap once. Yeah, did you pee on him? Nobody gave me a nice treat. <laughs> <laughs> Our beards are starting. Mine's very Santa Claus like it's still right here. It gets gets more and more gray. Mine might be gone. I don't know. I got gray everywhere except <clears throat> the top of my head, which there's, is there's interesting. Two TV shows and a movie. I might be doing background stuff for and. You never know when you show up. They're like, "We gotta shave that. We gotta cut that." Do you mind if you so. shave your balls for this one? You know, hey, you know, manscape. You know, we're looking for sponsors. We're looking for guests. So that's right, because you know, some people shave their balls in the shower and uh, leave the hair all over the side of the tub. Oh wait, no, none of the people in this house actually listen to our show. Oh no. Oh yeah. Hold on. What does that deserve? That deserves a. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have a Diablo sandwich, a Dr. Pepper, make it fast. I'm in a goddamn hurry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Buford T. Justice. Oh, One make, of my favorites. They don't make movies like that. No, they really <clears> don't. <throat> so, I mean, we got a lot of stuff going on. You know, with the holidays and stuff, it's going to be weird. You know, so our schedules will probably be off a little bit. But we're going to start, you know, 
I'll start compiling my top movies of the year list. Yeah. I, I have to wait because, like, you got to wait for Spider Man, mm-hmm. got to wait for Ghostbusters. And I don't know if anything's coming out around Christmas. Uh, as far as movies besides those two, yeah. Those are the only two that I'm, like, really anticipating. Everything else, I, I'm sure there's other stuff that I'm missing. But yeah, you always got to wait to like to those December releases, you know, especially with Spider Man and, and, and all that shit. Really quick, let's see. You got House of Gucci, Resident Evil, Welcome to Raccoon City, mm. Ghostbusters. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. December, Silent Night, Wolf Flea, Castle Falls, Deadlock. Who gives a shit? <laughs> West Side Story. There's a, there's a fucking movie they don't need to remake. Uh, Maria. <clears throat> And then you got Spider Man No Way Home. I feel bad for Swan Song and Nightmare Alley because they come out the same fucking day. Nobody's seen. <laughs> oh, of course you've got. Oh, shit. What was that movie that came Sing out? Sing 2. Electric Boogaloo? And The Matrix Resurrections is coming That's out. That's the Sunday. other one I was saying. Matrix, Matrix Resurrection, it's called? Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, that's, that's going to be another HBO Max one for me, I think. I yeah. do want to see it. It looks like, you know. Come on, Keanu. Let's, let's, let's get into this before we. Keanu, I know you got the John Wick hair. You're in Matrix now. Cut the fucking hair. That's right. Please go back to fucking Slip. Neo hair. Don't be fucking. I'm John Wick in Matrix land. That doesn't work. Those are the only three movies, though. Yeah. So I mean, Thank I definitely God. think with you know Ghostbusters, uh, Spider Man, and Matrix. Those are the three. Yeah, I'm um, not gonna go see West and, Side Story. And I still have not seen the re- the the Rocky versus Drago, which I was going to watch this weekend, which I didn't. Oh, the extended Rocky. Where's the that one? On? It's uh, you can rent it. It's on uh, Amazon Prime. It's on demand now. They they did like one day in theater. I don't yeah. know if anybody saw it, but um, <clears throat> I you know Rocky Four, one of my daughter's favorite movies when she was little. She was I don't know why. I tried to get her to watch the other Rockies. She just loved Rocky IV, which he kind of, you know, from what I understand, there's no robot in it anymore. You know, Good. sorry, Paulie. They got rid of all the... Uh, hopefully they shit. keep the fucking montage in. I mean, there's no easy way out. There's no tough road home. You know, and... Uh, it's gonna be a montage. Apparently, montage. from what the, what the cut is, it's supposed to be, like, more serious, more darker. I'm like, Okay, um, I'm interested. It, it, I was going to watch it, but I have not, so we'll do that next week. We'll talk sure. about that. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I think we did it, man. That's I think it. we did it. All right, so, we done did it. Till next time, suck a dick. Suck a dick.